Hey, today I want to go over the uh, Dell vCenter plugin. Uh, Dell does have a free download for one host. Any additional host will require a purchase of uh, licenses. Um, but again, for the, today's demonstration, we'll use the, uh, the free one that they provided uh, that I installed on one of my hosts. Uh, we'll go to that host. Um, you'll notice that uh, a new tab has been added after the plugin install, uh, which is the Dell Server Management tab. Um, we'll start from the top, which gives you an overview of that host, uh, which is the health, uh, the first section here, uh, chassis, temperatures, voltages, and so on. Uh, all of mine are green, so that's good. We'll scroll down a little bit, get some server information. Um, we got the host name, IDRAC IPs, uh, management IP, and so on. We also have the service tag. Um, since I don't have a connection to the internet, um, I don't have my warranty days left available on my host, um, but if you did have access to the internet, um, it would show that. And you can also renew it, and I'll, I'll go over that here shortly. Um, gives you information about the hypervisor version, which I am running VMware ESXi 5.1, uh, your BIOS version. Um, also, this is a, a blade and a chassis, and it gives me a URL directly to the CMC as well. So if I, I click this, I could go to the CMC and uh, launch that uh, user interface. Um, we'll go to the next section here, which is the event log. So um, I've just loaded this, so there's not many uh, events that are logged here. Uh, the next thing is the hardware inventory, which is kind of a cool uh, function that this offers. Um, the first tab or button here is the uh, field replaceable units, which gives you the part names and part numbers of uh, parts that may need to be replaced in the future. So um, it makes it much easier. Um, as you can see here, like the first line is my DIM, it gives me the part number, the manufacturer, and so on. Um, you can also go to the memory button, get some information about your memory. Uh, NIC information, PCIe uh, information, power supplies, processors, and remote access card, So, um, which also offers you a URL for your iDRAC. So um, I could launch the uh, iDRAC user interface directly from here as well. Um, you got storage information, um, firmware. Um, this will give you what firmware you're currently at. Also, um, it would allow you at this window to run the uh, firmware um, update wizard if you wanted to run that and uh, check if there is any available. If you have an internet connection, you could check if there's any available updates. Um, again, since I'm not on the internet with this uh, host, um, I create my own repository, which you can do as well. So you can point to your own repository uh, and do your updates that way, which we'll do shortly. Uh, we have power monitoring. Um, also, um, again, I talked to you a little bit about the warranty uh, information. Um, since I don't have internet connectivity uh, with this machine, um, we don't have that. Um, you could renew your warranty directly uh, from, from this URL if you were at, um, close to your end date. Um, let me scroll down a little bit here. Uh, also, you have uh, here's another area where you have host actions where you can run your firmware update wizard, which we'll come back to in just one moment. Um, then you have your management consoles here, and these are the URLs to launch your. Since this is a blade, I can launch my CMC or chassis console, uh, rem, my iDRAC or remote uh, access console, or my OMSA console. Uh, with that said. OMSA does need to be installed on any host that you want to use the plugin for. And also uh, at the bottom of the screen here, you see the uh, renew warranty uh, URL as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and launch the uh, blade ch uh, chassis console just to see how that works. Give me one moment here to uh, log in. And as you can see, um, I just launched the console from the vCenter server, uh, and I can manage 
uh, my any of my blades uh, switches or whatever from my CMC here. Let me close this window up. Um, and now I'll go ahead and show you how to do the uh, the run uh, the firmware update wizard. Uh, it does take a few minutes. Okay, now that we have the uh, firmware wizard open, we'll go ahead and select our repository. Again, I created a repository for this uh, M610, so I'm going to select update from repository. Um, here is the path to my repository that I created. Um, this is actually pointing to this uh, Windows 2008 VM that I've created uh, a repository on or a uh, share on which is called repository. Uh, the catalog.xml is um, the uh, points to the bundle that was created for this M610 so we're going to go ahead and click next. Uh, give it just one moment. It should uh, show us the bundle that is available and here it is. Uh, we'll click next. Uh, this takes just a second to populate. Uh, we'll be able to see the component, what version uh, the firmware is at, what is available, uh, the criticality of it, uh, if it's recommended or optional, and so on, uh, and the description. Um, as you can see here, uh, the Broadcom NICs or mezzanine cards um, shows their current version, which is 7.2.14, uh, and the available one, which is 7.4.8, and the criticality, which is recommended. Um, we'll scroll down here. You see others that uh, are available. Some are optional and some are already up to date, like the BIOS, lifecycle, and so on. Um, we'll select one just to uh, show you what, um, what it looks like. I'll select the OS drivers, um, click Next, and you'll see these options that are available to you. So um, typically you'd have to reboot a server uh, once you apply the firmware updates to take effect. Um, but these are the options that you have through the um, vCenter plugin. You have enter maintenance mode, apply updates, then reboot. Um, this will put the uh, ESXi host into maintenance mode. Um, also, we have apply updates on next reboot. So um, if you want to just go ahead and apply the updates and wait until you reboot your host, um, if it's you know during um, working hours and or whatever, um, you can select that option. Also, you have apply updates and force reboot without entering maintenance mode. So you got to be careful with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and select apply updates on next reboot, hit finish. And on my next reboot, uh, we should see that that has been updated. Okay, I went ahead and rebooted my host. I want to verify that the firmware that we selected has been updated. I also launched the uh, wizard again so we can compare. So um, I'll go ahead and scroll down. We're looking for the OS drivers pack. Uh, here it is and I see that the uh, current version is at 7.2.0.5 and the available version is at 7.2.0.5. So it shows that this is up to date. Um, again, you can use the uh, update wizard to um, select one component at a time, several components at a time, or all of them uh, to do your updates. Um, and that concludes my presentation on the Dell vCenter plugin.